it didn't make any sense yesterday. It doesn't make any sense today. And um, it's just unbelievably disturbing. Um, I knew him since he was five or six years of age. The Foley family moved to Killaloo. They built a pub or they were redoing a pub at the end of the street. And the whole Foley family moved into our house for about three months. And he was a man who loved sport, who loved the town, who was shy but but sociable. Um driven beyond all belief from as early an age as I can remember and I remember um, calling up to his house he must have been maybe 12 or 13 years of age and he was sitting down with his his father the curtains were drawn in the room and they had an old battered um, video recorder and they were rewinding everything this is in the middle of the summer in the heat you know two smelly men sitting inside um, just going over like hours and hours and hours of, uh, of videotape he knew exactly where to be he was never the fittest or fastest guy um, but he was the smartest guy that I played on the on the field with, and he was invariably wherever the ball was. Um, when you had him at the back of the scrum, you never had to think what was happening. Um, he led from there. He led in the manner in which he played. Um, but he did the right thing at the right time, nearly all the time. And it was fantastic, though I do remember, um, he had um, Domino's Pizza, gave a pizza to whoever scored the first try. I think it was the first try in Thoma Park. And Foley got a hat-trick, just to make sure. And I remember thinking along those lines, you're dead right he would. And he hadn't scored for a while. So um, uh, he'd, a, he'd a wicked, dry sense of humour. Um, the fact that we're talking about him in, in uh, past tense is, yeah. is unbelievably surreal, actually. Um, it's, it's trying to get those nice memories out again and those fond memories and to try and smile a little bit at the moment, if it's possible. If there's something wrong when a father uh, um, buries his son. And uh, yeah, that's truly dreadful um for me i just like you know you think of brenda um sheila rosie and orla his two sisters um but it's it's all of his wife who's you know so perfect for him um and his two boys which you know at, at a young age have to have to go on without their fathers it's heartbreaking all right keith thank you very much for joining us